Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Neck abscess is a very common condition faced by a clinician. If a patient chronically presents with thyroid abscess, then we have to think of a different pathology. What is this pathology? How is it related to recurrent thyroid abscess? How to diagnose and what is the treatment? This is all I am going to talk about today. If a patient chronically presents with thyroid abscess, then it may be related to fourth bronchial apparatus anomaly. That is, it may be cyst, sinus or fistula of fourth bronchial apparatus origin. During third to eight weeks of gestation, bronchial arches of mesodermal origin appear. These bronchial arches are lined externally by the cleft which is ectodermal origin and lined internally by the pouch which is of endodermal origin. Abnormal fusion of this bronchial apparatus gives rise to anomaly like cyst, sinus or fistula. Fourth bronchial pouch is related to thyroid gland. So sinus or fistula of fourth bronchial pouch origin lie in close relation to this structure or pass through this structure. In case of fistula, the internal opening is at piriform sinus. So what investigations we can do to diagnose this condition? We can do barium swallow. We can do rigid endoscopy to see any fistulous opening in the piriform sinus. CT scan and MRI can also be done. Now what is the treatment rather than simple incision and drainage? The anomaly of the fourth bronchial apparatus is commonly seen on the left side of the neck. Excision of the cyst, sinus or fistulous tract along with affected thyroid lobectomy and endoscopic cauterization of the piriform sinus opening is the treatment of choice. In many cases, only endoscopic cauterization of the piriform sinus opening is sufficient. But in case of younger age group, both open and endoscopic procedure need to be applied. I hope you have enjoyed today's session. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.